The mail bomb sent from Yemen and intercepted in the UK and Dubai last month spread panic around the world, but now reports have surfaced suggesting they weren't bombs at all, but simply a hoax by intelligence services to claim good PR from a foiled attack. Officials have said the packages were addressed to Chicago synagogues. Let's get more on this one from investigative journalist Wayne Madsen. He's been looking at the story uh, for us. Hi there, Wayne. Good to see you. Yeah, you've always got your nose on, of course, for a potential scandal here. I must say anything uh, that, that you're mentioning here, of course, unsubstantiated at the moment. Tell us a bit more about these allegations. I'm just looking at some of them surfacing here. Uh, people claiming that that, that, that U.S terror flight from Yemen never was and that there are no batteries, no detonators in those supposed bombs. What's this all about? Well, I think we have to look back at past incidents. For example, the underwear bomber uh, flying to Detroit from Amsterdam, who was allowed to basically board the plane, no questions asked. Uh, we had the Times Square fizzle bomber, where something fizzled in Times Square, and the, and the guy was sitting there waiting to take off at Kennedy Airport. And when the federal agents came in, he said, I've been expecting you. What took you so long? I mean, it, here's another case. Uh, now we're being told that this UPS cargo flight was either going to blow up over New Jersey Jersey, New York, maybe upstate New York, maybe Pennsylvania, and maybe Canada. Uh, it seems like once again we've gotten one of these stories that uh, may have been engineered prior to the election. We're always uh, sitting here in Washington waiting for October surprises before major elections, and this may have been another October surprise. Why? Why, why Wayne? Why would they do this? Well, I think uh, to make uh, President Obama look like he was on the ball on national security issues, obviously it's one of the areas he's been he's been uh, attacked on. Uh, I, I think the other in in interesting thing with this uh, bomb that was supposedly found at East Midlands Airport, Prime Minister David Cameron was not informed for 16 hours that this was such a major terrorist uh, incident. Why did not he and the Cobra team meet immediately to discuss this? Why did they wait 16 hours? This thing uh, starting to sound like the f infamous uh, shampoo bombs from flights from uh, Britain to the United States, which only resulted in a lot of uh, airport security people obtaining a lot of very expensive liquor from the duty-free shops when the passengers were not allowed to board the planes with it. When this all kicked off the other day, I wasn't on shift myself, I was at home, and I was watching the other news channels um, who clambered to get onto this story. They all jumped very, very quickly, gave a lot of coverage to it, didn't they? What do we know about these uh, counter-allegations, these people saying that this didn't happen, the dissenters to the story, if you like. What is their proof? What, what, why do they know any more than anyone else? Well, I, I think people don't, you know, <clears throat> there's always a, a very quick reaction to jump onto all these uh, terrorist-related uh, stories. Obviously, uh, maybe some governments and some intelligence agencies have cried wolf one too many times. So I think when we're, we're seeing skepticism and cynicism about these reports, I think it's because they've inundated the public with so many of these uh, false uh, flag stories, uh, people are, may start to be getting wise to them and maybe some people in the intelligence uh, community are starting to leak the truth to, uh, to blogs and uh, things like that. Wayne, we're a bit tight for time, but where's this story going to go? Do you think we're going to hear a lot more on it? I don't think so. They're, the United Arab Emirates is now looking at the uh, incident with the crash of a UPS plane in Dubai. We were first told that that was uh, n there was no terrorism involved, but they're looking at that. Uh, uh, but I think uh, we've seen skepticism from the government of uh, Qatar, from Yemen, from the United Arab Emirates. I think we're going to have to wait to see if there's any sm real smoking gun evidence that comes out. And right now, it's all very um, uh, anecdotal and con conjectural at this point. All right. Well, we're across it with your help, of course. Uh, Wayne Madsen, investigative journalist from Washington, D.C. Thanks for being on the line with us tonight at RT.